Williams with it. Pass to Green. And here is Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. Knocks down the long J. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. With the drive. And the basket is good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Scott. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. And here is Williams. just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Scott. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. And just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. And let's give him some credit. He read the situation well. He created some space and he delivered. Outside, Williams. Over to the wing. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. Williams has got six. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. On the take. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Early in a the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Back to Williams. To the left wing. Outside, Green. Pass to Williams. Clock at six. No good on the fadeaway. Went to the fadeaway, didn't need to go. Probably cost him some points. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. They get it back. Deflected! And there's the drive. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. as the free throw drops in for him. And he makes both free throws. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Scott. 
First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Shot clock at five. From deep. Williams grabs the board. Now here's Green from deep. He's off on that one. Here's Mason. To the paint. Shots blocked. On the wing, Green. Outside, Williams. The three. Another miss for him. He's two for six. Pass to Mason. Here's Scott. And he's going for the oop here. Here's Mason. Five on the clock. Oh, they need this. Can't get it. 0 for 3 in this one. The Storm have gone 2 of 8 shooting the ball. Here's Green. And he drops the first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And he lays it up and in. A terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Now Williams. He's got six. Here he goes. And Williams punches it home. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Some solid defense from Williams. The Storm have gone three of nine, struggling so far. Jacks up a three, drops in the three. Five points in the game. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. One forty-four left in the first quarter of the game. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. To the wing, right side. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. Going inside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. First free throw is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. There's a minute 12 left in the opening quarter. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boys. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. to Mason driving in and he gets that one high offensive IQ he makes great reads and adjustments on the fly now here's Williams oh, wow. Wow. Wait a second. 
And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Drives to the hoop. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. And he knocks down the first one. That one misses. Yeah, just some missed opportunities at the strike. Unfortunate. And they funk this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Get there, get there. Pulls it from the top of the key. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Williams has got 14 points for the game. I can't believe that went in. And I don't... Oh! 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 Look yes! at that range! <laughs> and we've reached the end of the first quarter. Up by six. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. so far halfway through the first half in this one and what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one well I'm really loving their activity I mean they're contesting shots they've really set a strong tone early and you can see it's already having an impact it can cause shooters to think twice and here's Scott and that goes out of bounds and they retain possession Disrupted, not to be. Outside, Williams. Green, a screen. Takes the three. But they'll get another chance. Scott with a rebound. Off with the layup. The Storm shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Outside, Williams. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Well, Grant, you were able to represent the United States on an international stage. Give me a few stories about that experience. Now, Brian, it was one of the highlights of my career in 1996 in Atlanta to play along with six members from the original Dream Team. Really, truly just one of the best experiences. I got a chance every day to practice with, to go against, to learn from Scottie Pippen. When he was in his prime, I just finished my second year in the NBA. Uh, and it just truly was a remarkable, incredible experience. Gold medal, really, like I said, one of the highlights of my career. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. The Storm have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Out to the wing. To the left side wing. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. The first one falls. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Puts up a three. That won't go. Just two for seven shooting. 
Out to the right wing. Outside, Green. Pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Wow! Crazy good! Wow! That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch! That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Got a hand on it, but he recovers it. Williams defending. Can't hit it. His seventh miss in nine attempts. The Storm have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Right wing. On the wing, Green. And the layup is good. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Scott. Here's Mason, green covering with his first shot attempt. Mason, no good. The Storm have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Over to the left wing. And here is Green. Driving inside. Unloads from 13. Doesn't go. And he's 0 for 1 from the floor. He's gone 0 for 6 in the second. Not looking good. Pass to Mason. Trying to get back on track. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And Smitty, when Jerry West was GM of the Lakers, he once said his dream lineup was five, six, nine guys. You agree with that? Yeah, I do. Especially if they are all Magic Johnson, definitely. In a way, that's a prediction of small ball. But B.A., I would like to change it to basketball players at that size with a high basketball IQ and versatility to play the guard position because that's all it is. We call it small ball, but we have a lot of guys that are 6'9", 6'10", 6'11", and seven footers are basically playing small ball. Williams passes to Green. No good on the triple. Shooting only 29% in this one. Not great. Pass to Mason. Down low. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. And he makes a first. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Storm shooting around 29% in quarter number two. On the wing, Green. That one falls. He's now one for three. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. To the middle. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And Williams punches it home. And this kind of sick slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Takes it in, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the first one at the line is good.
He's perfect from the line this time. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the half. He's off on the layup. Williams defending. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Green for three. The shot won't fall. Shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Pass to Scott. Here's Mason. To the wing on the left. Fires the three. No good there. It hasn't been all bad shots for him, but you wouldn't know that looking at his percentage from the field. Outside, Williams. We've got 33 seconds left in the second period. Three seconds left in the second quarter. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. There's 21 seconds left in the first half. Connects from downtown. 13 points in the game. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half. Launches a three. No good that time. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Up by four. We've got more in store for you. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie and guys, for the Storm, Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, it's never easy to go on the road in the NBA, no matter what the matchup is. But I think they like playing the role of the villain. Their effort has been fantastic, and they've done all that they can do to keep this crowd quiet. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Uh, well, Ernie, this is definitely a big wake-up call for them. Their field goal percentage is sitting in the low 30s. They came out unfocused, unmotivated, unprepared. They can't turn the tide and play with greater efficiency. It's going to be a long second half. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to be... Just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Williams defending. Inside. Oh, they pick off the pass. Out to the wing. Side, green. Shot clock at six. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. To the right side. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. No good, off the front rim. Williams with it. He's got 18. Green, a screen. Williams misses, shooting just around 32% for the field. From 13, the shot no good. 
The Storm shooting only 39% so far in the game. Out to the right wing. Pass to Green. Tipped. Out to the right wing. Here's Mason. Two minutes into the second half of play now. He tries for three. Nails it from three. And here is Williams. And he drives in. And Williams punches it home. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Good with a layup. Gone two of five in this third quarter. There's the drive. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. The Storm have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Can't connect from short range. to the wing pass to Scott takes it inside and he was fouled while in the act of shooting so he'll take two free throws you know Grant with the pace of the game today we know speed kills in your mind who's the fastest player going end to end and that's a tough one right there, B.A. There's some great players in the open floor with the basketball. I think of John Morant, uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, Kimba Walker. But I have to go with Donovan Spider Mitchell. So good, so fast, so effective. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The visitors with the ball. Now Williams. Give him 20. Into the lane. Keeps it alive. It's good on the putback. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Right wing. Pass to Mason. Over to the left wing. Here's Scott. Here's Mason. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes a three. That one is off. The Storm shooting a low 29% since halftime. Green for three. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. to the basket and it's good two points he's got 17 that's a well-timed well-coordinated play comes right off the pick for the lay-in outside Williams oh he picked him clean and stolen by Williams Gotta give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They gotta be more composed in these moments. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. 
Here's Mason. Williams defending. Mason, no good. Okay, that time, advantage defense. Meeting him right at the rim. Williams into the lane. 156 left in the third. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The first free throw is good. That one's no good. Gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. It's tipped, but he gets it back. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. There's a minute 40 left in the third. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Shooting just 36% in the third. to Mason. Williams defending. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Outside, Green. Fires for three. On target from range. Green's got seven points in the game. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot, and will go to the line. And the free throw, no good. The Storm have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Outside, Williams. He shoots. And no good. Three quarters of play and a close one here. They lead by a bucket. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both. And he did so at a very high level. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Williams defending. And he dunks it down. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. And he drives in. Misses from close range. Shooting only 39% so far in the game. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Ooh, 
can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Storm shooting just 42% so far in the game. They set a pick. Fires from 14. Basket's good. I like this. I really do. He recognizes the mismatch. Simply rises up and fires. Pass to Scott. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. The Storm have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley-oop up top. Hammer it home. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Mason. And it's all from three-point range. The Storm have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. And Williams punches it home. And they're putting together another quality possession. They're taking control of this game. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Three-pointer. Drills it from deep. He's got 26. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. With the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes the first, but misses the second. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Pass to Mason. Six to shoot. Here's Scott. There's the three. Gets the three ball to go. Talk about stepping up. I mean, that is a huge three-pointer. That's what you have to do. Clutch shots, clutch shooters, they come through in those positions. Williams into the lane. And Williams punches it home. Oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. There's a screen into the lane. And yep, it's good. Their offense sort of clawing back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. From downtown. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. We all know that close games can boil down to who makes a play on defense. And I'll tell you what, that was one heck of a rejection right there. Here's Mason. And he's going to the line for two. The officials saw contact while he was going up. The officials were right on top of that one. He does not get the second one. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. To the inside. To the right side. The ball's knocked loose. to the left wing to take the lead. That shot off the mark. 
You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Outside, Williams. Pass to Green. From behind the arc. The offensive rebound. Another shot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First one falls. Good on both. Got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Yep, that one goes. Give him 30. Taking it straight to the rim. Going for the high percentage shot when it matters the most. Coming down the stretch, you know this. You want to go to something that's bankable. That's as good as it gets. Williams. And Williams punches it home. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. One forty-four left in the fourth. Got a piece of it. Here's Scott. Ooh, it's stolen away. Now, here's Williams. Going inside. Oh, he oh, went up. Oh, it's wow, way yes. up there in the rafters. Beautiful. Setting up for that all the way. Hey, that's the kind of thing you have to envision before you even try it. I'm sure plenty of practice hours went into it, and that has this team fired up. Williams defending. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Now, I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Takes it inside. Misses from short range. Gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. To the left side wing. It's deflected. But he stays with it. Can't hit it from 12 feet. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. So he comes up empty at the line. 43 seconds left in the fourth. A quick shot there. It's off target. And they go to the intentional foul. And no good. As the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up five. Your thoughts, guys? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow, so impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close.
36 seconds left in the final quarter. Driving in. The shot, no good. And now we've got an intentional foul. First of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he's able to hit the second one. And that increases the lead to six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Releases from 15. That one doesn't drop. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that makes it a seven-point lead. 20 seconds left in the fourth. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Interesting approach coming down the stretch, looking to rack up points in chunks. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Huge moment. He steps up and sinks the final daggers. Out left to the wing. He shoots a three. He can't get it to go. And he commits the intentional foul. So the first one drops. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time.